Hey there, CPO here, and uh, this is a pretty exciting video for CJ and I. Uh, I don't know uh, if all of you have been following us on social media, probably not, uh, but if you've been following uh, me on Facebook or Google Plus or even Twitter, uh, there's no way you can avoid seeing the fact that CJ and I are getting ready to build a Raptor 700 Heli. So uh, this is a Honestly, a result from our father-son trip to Urcha. Uh, it was an amazing time, but what we came out of there with was a strong desire to get a 700 size heli, and even more importantly, for CJ to learn how to fly it. So uh, as, a, as a father who uh, wants to be supportive, uh, I knew right then and there that we were going to buy a 700, and we were going to build it, and we were going to make it the best heli we could. So uh, we've spent a lot of time and energy researching components, trying to figure out exactly what we're going to put into it. Uh, you know, some things we knew right away. For example, uh, you know, CJ knew from Urcha we were going to put a Scorpion power system. There was no, no doubt about that. He's like, I want Scorpion. I'm like, all righty. I mean, uh, who am I to argue with that? So we watched a lot of great pilots flying Scorpion. We knew that's what we wanted, so we went for it. Uh, the, uh, the heli was, uh, was a pretty easy one for me. Uh, I've got a Raptor uh, 550, and I love that heli. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the Thunder Tiger lineup. Uh, a lot of great team pilots that I've gotten to know that are super nice. Uh, I'm a big fan of Hobbyco and Tower Hobbies. So that was kind of an easy, uh, easy thing for me, and especially knowing that the Raptor 700 V2 version just came out uh, that we we're going to take advantage of. So the airframe was a uh, decision was made there. Uh, the uh, the fly barless controller was made easy for us because we won that at uh, Urcha. So uh, we'll show you that here, and uh, that was a no-brainer and a great choice for this heli. So I'm pretty excited about that. We we couldn't have got a better deal on that. Uh, and then uh, and then we went through uh, what servos do we want to do? We ended up getting some Futaba servos for it. Uh, you know, there's a lot of great choices out there. It's really hard to cull through things, but, uh, you know, we decided to go with Futaba. Again, big fan of the support we get um, from, uh, from that group, as well as all the pilots that I've been able to interact with that fly Futaba. So uh, that was the decision we made. Zeal blades are, uh, are up and coming, and uh, no way we would, uh, we would jump into this without giving Zeal blades a try. So uh, we've got Zeal main blades and Zeal tail blades. And then for batteries... Uh, you know, again, started weighing all the options, the pros and cons, the costs, and we decided to go with Rev Electric's battery. So we'll show you everything, all of these components that we're putting into the heli. And this will be kind of our getting ready uh, for the build video. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to put into it. And then CJ and I, as we go through this build, are going to document it. We're going to do build videos uh, and just uh, show you guys everything that we're doing. So I hope you enjoy and uh, particularly this video, if you're interested in seeing what we're putting into it and what, what the components are uh, in a little bit more detail, this is the video to watch. So uh, let's get started. All right, guys, first up is going to be the Futaba CGY 750. This is the fly barless controller. This is what we won at Urcha. CJ is going to show us what that looks like inside. We're just going to be doing a basic unboxing, checking the products out. Uh, and uh, this is the fly barless controller we're going to put in. Super excited about that. Uh, next thing we have is uh, actually something else that we uh, we won at Urcha, which was the uh, Scorpion backup guard. So we're definitely going to be putting this into it, uh, looking for the uh, ability to have some uh, backup redundancy for power. So uh, CJ actually uh, was uh, happy enough to catch this at the uh, general raffle when they were throwing prizes out. So uh, we got lucky there. All right, Scorpion Power Systems. The ESC that we are going with is the 14S 120 amp. Uh, this is a monster uh, ESC, which has a lot of great features and uh, comes with the IR programmer and an IR receiver. So some pretty cool stuff. And I got to say, this is the first time that I've invested any real uh, desire and money into fully equipping uh, a heli with the best I could come up with, you know, given some financial constraints. Um, but that's the ESC. Um, fantastic unit. 
Uh, but we decided if we're going to do this, uh, we want the best chance of success for both CJ and I with this heli. And the way to do that is to put the best we could get into it. For the motor, the motor is a Scorpion HK3 4035-500. Uh, this should be more than enough to satisfactorily power this heli. Uh, without going overboard, right? There is, uh, there is a balance there. So I think this is going to be a good motor choice for us. Got lots of Scorpion stickers to stick all over all my stuff. That's pretty cool, too. And there's that bad boy. All right. All right, so let's take a look at the servos next. First up, this uh, top servo there. That is going to be our tail servo. That's the BLS 276 SV. Uh, so this is a uh, pretty hot rod tail servo. And then for the cyclics, we're going with these 272 BLS SVs. And uh, we're sticking with Futaba for the receiver. This is the uh, R6303 S-Bus receiver. It's a four channel with an S-Bus connector. So uh, we'll get all the channels we need out of it uh, just using the S-Bus. And uh, we only need S-Bus because that CGY 750 is an S-Bus fly barless controller only. So uh, that'll be a perfect match and super tiny. Uh, as far as the blades, again, we went with Zeal blades. Uh, got them in red to match the heli. And uh, CJ's going to slide them out of the uh, now famous coffin case that Zeal blades have been coming in. Uh, unfortunately, I got these before they started printing the, the backsides, the bottoms, uh, but cool nonetheless, and we're going to certainly give them a run uh, on this heli. So those should match nicely. Uh, we also went with Zeal tail blades. Now the heli kit does come with tail blades, but these are 115 millimeter blades, which tend to be a preference uh, for this particular kit. So we went ahead and upgraded those to the Zeal 115s. All right, the batteries. Rev Electrics 6S 5200 40C batteries. Now there are some cool things about these batteries that we really liked. Number one, the size. Number two, the capacity. Uh, they build these things uh, fresh, uh, made to order, and uh, even put your pilot name on there, which is kind of cool. The other thing I really like about them is that the, uh, the battery cables are nice and long, actually longer than the battery themselves, which becomes a great benefit, especially when you're gonna run these in series, is I can connect them, strap them down, and I don't even need a wiring harness. Uh, so that'll be really uh, nice and easy uh, for that. So uh, that was a great bonus that I wasn't expecting. All right, what else did we get? We got, uh, let's see, a couple extra battery trays uh, because we wanted to have ready to go, racked and stacked some charged batteries. So I got six batteries and I'll have a total of three trays. So that gives us three fully charged setups ready to go at the field. And then uh, right behind that Raptor E700 CJ is the crash kit. Some say it's a bad omen to buy a crash kit before you actually build the heli, but I thought, heck, I'm already paying the money for the shipping. May as well take advantage of it and get the crash kit going. So uh, the great news about the crash kit, which is one of the decisions uh, we had to make was crash cost. This thing is like 50 something bucks and you can see uh, it comes with pretty much all the major components other than blades that you're going to need for a, uh, a crash. So that became a, uh, a decision point for us. But now let's dig into the heli. This is the Raptor E700 V2. Everybody that I know that has this heli and has flown it says it is just a joy to fly. Super lightweight, um, but not overly floaty. Uh, you can see it comes with the head parts nicely packaged. And uh, we'll be definitely digging into this soon. And uh, let's show them the canopy. And then we'll end this video and get to starting building. So a lot of cool things about the uh, 700 V2. Uh, comes with some upgraded parts, uh, some more robust parts, a larger tail fin. Uh, and then probably most notably is the different color scheme on the canopy which is uh, apparently much easier to see in flight as opposed to the blue one of the V1. So that's it, and uh, maybe we'll see some pilot names on that canopy here pretty soon. So, All right, guys, well, that's it. Um, 
CJ and I just wanted to take an opportunity uh, to share with you um, what we're building, kind of why we're uh, we're using these parts. But um, that's it. Pretty soon it's going to be uh, up close and personal build videos, and then we get to see some flight stuff, right?